way that... The video opens into a studio filled with artful creations. Juanita Leonard is a black female dressed in a light blue shirt and black pants. She is sitting down surrounded by many of her art pieces. The interviewers are not shown or heard in the video. All good gifts come from above. And that Jesus is ahead of my life. And if it had not been for the Lord, I would not be doing this art. And God opened that door for me. I've been painting ever since I was 17, but I never really tried to sell any paintings or anything. It wasn't until I moved here in Montgomery that the door was open wider and I could see more clearer. That's what started it all because I, I, I have a business school for no training at all whatsoever. Everything comes from up there to him, so I have to acknowledge that. And he get the glory for all that I am and all that I do. So he's what started it. And he who started a work in me is going to finish. No. Uh, no, it's, 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 it's not limited to painting. It's, 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 but when God bless us with one gift, that gift comes with wisdom. And that wisdom and that gift, you can just keep tapping into it. You can just keep tapping into it. And, and there's just more and more and more. It's like a never-ending blessing that's there for the taking if you want it, if you pursue it. Like, oh, my life, I've always wanted to do sculptures, statues, and, and now sky's the limit. I believe that I could look at something and in my mind and in my sight. I can do it just like looking at it. Might not be like that and what they think that is, but that's it to me. <laughs> so, so yes, I, it, it goes on with, the, as you can see, just the wood, the metal, the cement, the carving, the fabric. These are very special to me because my brother passed away this year. And I'm not sure if COVID had anything to do with that or not. But he was a collector of many things. And one of the things that he collect was the old grass sacks from picking pecans back years and years ago. And he had so, so many grass sacks. So I took his grass sacks and I take his sacks and I make all of my sculptures and, and many different ways. And it's honoring him and it's, it's in his memory. Because he he was my last. He was he was closest to my heart. And so I have memories of him all around. And as I work and, and whether I'm painting on them or if I'm crocheting on them or if I'm sewing on them, I just do so many things to them. But I feel that I'm being led by his spirit. And that he's he's smiling. You know, the stuff that would have been thrown out, that wasn't because I said, oh, no, I want this, you know. So this is how the sacks come in. And I'm just starting with them. I want God to show me how to do more with the old grass sacks. People call it burlap now. You can go buy it in the store or whatever, but this is old grass sacks. So I do the false face with them, and I do the healing dolls with them. In all, all sizes, in, in all shapes, in all, that's again, that's sewing. And that is the old moss, or, or some of it is the old, um, the 1800 uh, furniture in the bottom of it. They have like the horse hair. That, uh, uh, that's what this is, the horse hair. And that's the old rusty wire that was at my brother's house. The old thread that come from his house. He had spools and spools of thread. And gobs and gobs of, of wire. So everything was right there except for the paint. And so that makes me feel good. These were the first four that I did. This one, this one, and this one. And these are all my brother grass sacks. These are the false face. They bring heel in his old Indian tradition that they bring healing in. When the Indians were sick, they would send for the false face. 
and the false face would come in. That's just more Indian with masks on. And the Indians that were sick, they feel better almost immediately for the false face. So I said, well, if God didn't put it in my spirit, I wouldn't do it. And I had no idea how to do it. God showed me how to do it. building. I had no idea that, that that I would build a church. I don't know how to do no building, but God saw fit. So, I stopped my cousin, and I said, I want a building built right there. And I didn't say nothing about no size, no nothing, and I didn't really have nothing. He said, okay, I'll do it for you. And he put the bricks down and the beans under the bottom and two performance on the side and went put the roof on. Well, he got busy. He's busy doing this, busy doing that. Months passed by. He'll be, Cuz, I'm coming. I'm coming. I hadn't forgot. I'm coming. So one day I asked my daughter, I said, do you think you could help me if I get some paneling or plywood or something? Because I have some old pieces. She said, Mom, I try to help you. So we just started. But I still didn't know it was going to be a church or think, you know. I didn't make my mind up a plan to say. And my daughter, as we went to go, and it was shaping up. And she said, Mama. It's going to be a honky tonk. We're going to go dancing. And I said, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be. And, and God said, it's going to be a church. And people got curious. They was passing by and looking. And they could see what was going on. And they wanted to come in. And they stopped and they helped. They bring stuff and donate. And, and it, just, it just went on from there. And then people got to where, well, when you're going to have service? People was curious, you know. Well, that come about according to what I was going through at the time. Different things that were coming up against me, some good and some not so good. And when I make it to the church and go to the altar, it make me feel better. And sometimes I would write it on the wall. And I think that what we go through in life is an experience to help somebody else on down the line of uh, to, to further them, to better them. Well, I have to say again, the most big impact that I've had mm -hmm. is with my, my COVID paintings. Mm -hmm. Even though with COVID-19, it's a, it's a really bad thing. But that's something that you and I, we can't control. All of that is the Almighty God. He has the power. He can control it. In the midst of the storm is where I got all of my inspiration. And, and I got motivated to do this. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that I don't have to paint people no more. Looking to the side with the head turned to the side. Shame faced it. I call them shame faced it. People, sh well, y'all call it shy. They're shy. They got their head down and look to the. These are bold ones. They're like in your face. They joy. They smiling. See, their mouth is open. You can see their teeth. They smile and everybody's doing something, but you can feel the joy and the laughter from them. So that, that has been one of my major biggest breakthrough right in the middle of the COVID God see fit to do a work in me that was different from anything and because of that work I was able to help others so it's like when God opened that door another door was open then another door was open and the thing that I really like about it is the little children kids are kids and God created them. This is a piece that I did of one of my COVID paintings, one of my favorites. And see, I put COVID on it. And all of my doing, all my life, I don't think I've ever done a painting of kids like that climbing up the tree. I've never. You know, it's all different. And it's all new to me. And it makes me feel good. It makes me, you know, I, I don't have to do picking pecans no more, mama picking cotton no more, and 
all those old paintings. I, the people like that. They like the new stuff. They, they want that. They like that. And they are completely different. They're different from anything that I've ever done. The colors change. They face, like I was telling you earlier, they look at you straight in the face now. They don't have to look at the side, the corner. They got that bold look and they're smiling. Look at their big eyes. And every painting that I've done from up until this COVID point has been done with the side view. Side or the face, you know, just the one eye on the, but, but not here. These got the bold look and they look at you in the face and they're like, Look what I can do. You know, I don't have to hide no more. I'm not shamed no more. So I want to talk a little bit about my alligator now. This is Cypress and it's light as a feather. And this is the first carved alligator that I've ever done. And you might say, this is the ugliest thing that I've ever seen. But he's, he, he, he's so ugly until he's pretty. And I did it all by myself with a chainsaw. And I'm pleased and I'm proud of that. And the thing that really gets me is that his head is not laying flat. His head is up. He's looking. You know, he's looking like, well, I'm proud too. I am really proud. And I left the roughness under there, so cypress, so you can see. And I wanted to paint them little black squares on him, but I said no. I want to be natural, just like that. Well, everything in life got a purpose to it. It's 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 uh, <laughs> it's more art, but it's it's art with a purpose. It's art for people to see passing by on the highway. That's why I put them like 15 feet in the air so they can see. Ooh, look at that! What what is all that? Now, and they do turn around and they look and they see. But but it was really when they turn around and they see. Well, the, the more they see, the more they want to see. They want to come in and they want to see. And 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 that pulls them in. And when they come in, I can get a chance to pray for them. And so that art was a way of reaching out to the ones on the highway that were passing by. That that needs to know a little bit about Jesus and the goodness and how good God been to them. So, yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping and I'm praying that with all the changes that, that one of the days that God is going to give me something that I can do a, like a, a production, like a, a mass production, something that that some somebody, more than one person, would want. Like something that somebody really needs. Maybe in an art form. I can't explain it. But God has already given me the vision. I just need a little bit more wisdom to go with the knowledge that he's given me. You know, art is a is a non-stopping. It's a non. It just sky's the limit. And for years, my paintings change. My art change. I'm learning new things. I want to do new things. I I want to be different. It's the different that it's the difference that makes me unique in who I am. And I always acknowledge Jesus in all that I do because it's because of Him. I'm nothing without him. He showed me everything and he continued to show me every day that he let me live to see another day. It's a blessing. The joy in my heart, the joy we receive every morning. The Bible says joy in the morning, weeping for a night, but I receive my joy every morning, no matter what. I don't care what last night, what happened. Today is a new day and it comes with joy that comes from Jesus and you can't take it away.